What do you think of this? A new idea for a feature on the radio show, a section called Explaining Jokes to Idiots, because apparently after being on the air for one, two, three, 27 years, some people are still having a problem with banter. So let me explain. For me, radio is a little bit of theater. It's a performance or a show. Sometimes we do wee jokes and satire, and on occasions I've even been known to be sarcastic. So when, for example, I say that I'm going to end up single because the only thing I'm interested in sharing my bed with these days is the television remote control and the remnants of a multi-pack of Tato, that's a joke. You don't need to start ringing my girlfriend asking what happened, chick, because it wasn't real. It was what we call a wee joke, a fib, a white lie, a little bit of theatre, if you will. Also, you will know if I'm ever single again because, of course, you'll see my advertisement returning to the back of cubicle doors in bars across Belfast. And that, again, for the idiots, was a joke. Everyone knows DJs use the back of bus shelters and phone booths. May as well clear a few other things up from the radio show today, just for those who were struggling. Uh, so I said I was a professional cyclist because one day this week I went out and hired the Belfast bikes. That was an exaggeration. I'm not really ready for the Tour de Paris quite yet. So I'm not a professional cyclist. I also said that I was uh, patient zero in the, the flu bug that's going around at the moment. Um, there's no scientific evidence to back up my claim that I was the first person with it. By that, again, I was just exaggerating that maybe I had it earlier than most people. I also said that Deputy Dave is a miserable skin flint who looks like and indeed eats like a pig from a trough. And I absolutely stand by that.